Welcome back to your Football Manager channel. This is FM Pepe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Back. And we're playing a Celtic series. We're away top of the league and about to play Rangers away. And the good thing about this game is we're at Ibox. And this is for the title. We could actually win the title today at Ibrox. So what I've asked is I've asked my assistant to pick the best team um, to face them. And that's what he's picked. Forster in goal. Bauer, Aya, Julian and Miranda across the back. Kamavinga and Cham in midfield. Forrest, Rogic, Bowen behind Edouard in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, so yeah, that's what he's done. He's uh, Julian, Forrest, Bauer, they're lacking a little bit of match. Uh, sharpness, but it should be okay. Uh, we've got Craig Gordon, Greg Taylor, Callum McGregor, Jordan Larson, Dennis Vavro, Ryan Christie, and Simon Terrell on the bench. <sighs> Looks like a pretty good team, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go with it. And it's not so I can blame the assistant if it goes wrong. <laughs> so, here we go. This is to win the title at Ibrox. Against Rangers. Well, players are warming up. You can see here they're going to be playing a 4 5 1 formation against us, um, which I kind of expected. Uh, I thought Ryan Kent would be on the left and showed Shea Ojo would be on the right, though. But, oh dear, he's having a good season. Wow, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this guy here, Dimitri Folkier, he's a problem. We definitely have to take care of him. Let's hope James Forrest can give him the run around. Right, boys. It's the big one. Versus Rangers at Ibrox. Players are in the tunnel. They're all lined up. Come on, lads. That's it. Close them down. Close them down quickly. Ooh. I'm a little bit nervous. I could win the title today. Could all be done and dusted. The four points behind us. If we win, that's seven points with two league games left. I don't like it when they play out from the back. They tend to do all right. Um, here we go, Ryan Kent. I knew it. Ah, god damn it! Can we not just give him a kick and cripple a little git? See, they've moved Ojo and Kent around, haven't they? And we've not even we've not even just gone and tried to close him down. Right, if we kick Ryan Jack, we're going to get a reaction out of him. Um, let's tightly mark Alfredo Morelos. Um, okay. I think that's all we can do for now. I do not believe that. I knew as soon as they started playing it out from the back that someone like Ryan Kent would just get a hold of it and there you go blimey did he get a hold of that 1-0 oh man show some passion it's Tavernier oh good save by Forster <laughs> this is not good Forster with a long throw that goes straight to Rebo. I'm just thinking of like 4-3-3 formation. Oh no. Oh, is it the post? Oh, Ryan Kent. Oh my god. Is he on loan from Liverpool? Or did they sign him? No, they signed him. Oh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to add a transfer target. 
Oh, we got Bruno Gomares as a transfer target as well. Okay. We'll request. And the contract players. For. Oh, God. Central midfield. There we go. Aiden O'Neill. Let's get back to the match. <laughs> Well, they're frustrated, we're motivated. It's too early to be changing formation, I think. However, team instructions. We are playing narrow, let's try and play wide. Um, Let's whip the crosses in because both of our defenders are pretty tall. Uh, Goldson and Katic, they can deal stuff in the air. Let's distribute to Rogic, the playmaker. Out of possession. Oh, I think we have to have a lower line of defence. Okay. A few little tweaks. Hopefully that'll help. Well, Miranda's not enjoying himself there, is he? Blimey. Very frustrated. Okay. Kent puts one in. Oh, Morelos. Morelos at the back post. This is going to go to the wire, this. This league title is going to go to the wire. Oh... No way. It's supposed to be tightly marking him. Right, I only know one way to deal with this, and this is gung ho. <laughs> Right, I think rollicking is in order. Be aggressive. There you go. And be aggressive with him as well. Let's uh, be assertive. Six point nine charm. Rogic looks angry. Well, I'm very angry with your performance today. <laughs> uh, still have faith in you. Okay. Let's see if that helps. <clears throat> Get creative, boys. Come on. We're all inspired by the feedback. That's good. Juan Miranda's got about 10 minutes to sort his head out. 6.4 out of 10 is not good. Same with Camavinga. Here is Miranda. No. Camavinga. Rogic. Camavinga has it. Gives it to Cham. He finds Bowen. He finds Miranda. Crosses. Oh, I thought I was in them by Edward. Right. I think it's time for uh, Greg Taylor to come on for Juan Miranda. He's bringing the team down. I'm going to bring Jordan Larson on for Rogic. And... Let's see what happens there. I'm going to leave Larson in that number 10 role. For him just to go where he wants to do. Go where he wants to go and do what he wants to do. And uh, 
see if that helps here's James Forrest Ooh. go on Bowen get there good lad Camavinga now can't find Taylor Bauer to Forrest Bauer now this is better uh, Jack blocks the cross come on boys that's it get across well done Bowen oh good tackle we're missing Scotty Brown in midfield oh good block Jared Bowen coming forward Gives it to Edward. Please, Larson. Oh, Cham. Forrest, get in. Oh, it's disallowed. Oh, you dirty, dirty ref. Oh. Here's Taylor. The Cham. Julian forward. Edward has it. Camavinga now. Time on the ball. Oh, he's tackled by Jack. He's had a terrible game, Camavinga. Oh. God, Morelos nearly. Right. I'm going to put Callum McGregor in there. In place of uh, Camavinga. I've seen enough. I think my assistant was wrong to pick him. I had a little feeling about it and should have listened to my gut. And let's, let's push Larson up. Let's get him up there. Let's do that. <clears throat> oh no, 3 0, Nikola Katic. Big header at the back post. Oh no. Show some passion. Jeez. Ah. Oh. Julian Mr. Herra. Christoph Julian Mr. Herra. It's identical position again. Cham gets there. Oh, Joe. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, get rid of it. Aya does the right thing. Good clearance. Larson has it. Send him. He's fouled. Dirty get. Get Tavernier off. Just a yellow. Oh my god, they've really raised their game. We need a consolation goal. I don't believe this. There's one point in it. Two games left. Oh my word. I think we probably should have gone 4 3 3 on the slot. Or four three two one, because their fullbacks haven't really hurt us, and uh, the midfield's been dominant. And we may sh may have probably should have gone long ball. Oh, oh, that sucks. I think four three three with Tarod. Being target man and Edward and Larson playing off him. That probably should have been the way we went with McGregor. Cham. In midfield. Maybe with one other. Not Camavinga though. Dear me. Look at that. Camavinga 
6.4, Rogic 6.4, Juan Miranda 6.3. No wonder they all got substituted. That was terrible. It was only Cham that can. 7.4 miles he ran. It was only him that can actually hold his head high. <sighs> Team talk. I'm going to be aggressive. Unacceptable. Cham. I'm happy with you today. Edouard. I'm not happy with you. <laughs> you sucked. Ah, oh, it's horrible. We got Aberdeen next. All right, let's get to the Aberdeen game. Okay, guys. So we're gonna be playing. Forster in goal, Bauer, Aya, Vavro comes in for Julian, Taylor comes in for Miranda, Brown comes in for Kamavinga, uh, Cham will play in midfield with him, Forrest, Rogic and Bowen will play behind Edward. Uh, it's probably Rogic's last opportunity to be honest. And so, both teams playing 4-2-3-1. Uh, they have Dean Campbell a midfield who is a good young midfielder the scouts keep recommending him but yeah Scott McKenna will be joining us at the end of the season I'm going to hand over to the assistant now as far as we expect a much better performance damn straight we do well off kickoff. Vavro sending it forward. There's Jared Bowen. Jam all over the bar. Scott McKenna picks up a yellow. Edward from range. Oh puts it on Rogic's head, but easy save for Joe Lewis. Hey, he wins that one and Dean Campbell picks it up. If Dean Campbell does score against us, I'll sign him. How's that? Uh, James Forrest. Running down the right wing. Oh, Brown. Oh, Bowen. Good save by Joe Lewis. Bowen with a corner. Cuts it in. Viner gets it away. Scott McKenna's got booked. Um... Ryan Edges puts this one in. Aya gets it out. Cham clears it. Bowen picks it up. Oh, Cham made up the ground. Long ranger saved by Joe Lewis. Yes, yeah, Scott McKenna. I cannot. Oh, highlights. <laughs> I just want to look at Scott McKenna because we've signed him to join us at the beginning of the season next year. Well, that's a good ball. It's into the path of Edward. Champ shoots. Oh, Lewis saves. Scott McKenna. He looks pretty decent. But he might try and improve his pace. He's only 23. So. I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of foreign players in this squad. There's Bowen. Oh, I thought I was destined for top corner. Um, I think Julian's going to go. Um, I think Simonovic is going to go. So we're going to sign maybe Stuart Finley as well as Scott McKenna. Um... I'm just going to try and produce basically a Scottish squad um, for Celtic. So we've got very few foreigners. Oh, 
Uh, Simon Terold might be leaving as well. We're going to keep Jordan Larson and Odson Edward and Christopher Ayer. And I think we've got an agreement to sign Dennis Vavro permanently for like 5 million. He's on loan at the moment. But I think we'll sell Rogic. Here's Edward. Oh, how did he miss that? Yeah, I'm I'm thinking we're, we're going to go more Scottish next year. Oh, Forrest has give it away. And again down the left. Good tackle by Aya. I think Aya, Edward, Larson, Kamavinga, Miranda. They'll all improve and get better. Here is Edward. Oh, Joe Lewis saves. Um, and I think maybe in the next couple of seasons afterwards we're probably going to be forced to sell them because they're going to want to leave but I've got scouts all over at the moment Tiago Almeida uh, Itaran Iter whatever he's called, Mohamed Itaran we're looking at him uh, we're looking at a lot of players so I may bring in one or two foreign lads to sort of develop, you know, 18, 19 year olds but generally, we're just going to be signing Scottish players. Here's Bowen. Oof. Ferguson took that off his foot. And it's quite a good player, Lewis Ferguson. He might be one that we could go for. Would be a useful signing. There's Bauer. Oh, Bowen. So Bauer's got an injury. And I think I'm going to go and change tactics here a little bit. I think we may play because Bauer's injured. I think we may bring on Julian. Play him there in a back three. Um, bring on oh, I think bring on Larson. Put Larson up front with the road. Have Forrest and Bowen as our midfielders, our wide midfielders, our wingers. Yeah, I think that could do. We need to go and win this game, so let's try and win it. Kevin Hanratty, young strikers come on for them. For Greg Lee, the fullback. Oh my god. Can we please get into them a little bit? Thank you. Here's McGinn on the left. Cross comes in. Oh boy, Hedges. Shots blocked. Corner to Aberdeen. Let's see if we can counter it. Get it out, boys. Good header by Aya. McGinn has it. I think we're going to go very attacking now. See, they've gone 3 1 4 2. Whereas we are a 3 4 1 2. So they've matched us and gone man for man for us. Oh, is it the post? Oh. God damn it. Yeah, they've gone man for man against us. 
Jordan Larson's come on and had an impact, as has Julian, both of them doing okay. Edward not looking so good. Let's get creative. There you go, inspired by the feedback. Here we are now, this is it. Come on, James Forrest. Oh, Cham. Inside of Bowen. This is it. Oh. Good tackle. It was a goal kick for them. Oh my god, Rangers have gone top. No, 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 no. Come on, Bowen. Give it Edward. Put it in, Edward. Oh, you look for Larson. Yes! Oh, Joe Lewis. Oh, my word. Oh. Team instructions. Push higher. Let's put the pressure on them now. Well played, Cham. Rogic for Edward. Must be this time. Oh, Lewis has saved it again. Bloody hell. The man's having a one match. Oh, I can't even say what he's having. But he's, he's having a blinder. Right, what can I do here? Autumn Edward is not playing well at all. Tom Rogic is doing well. So is Brown. I'm going to take Edward off and put Tarot on. I think I have to. Oh, God. There's Tarot. Rogic. Oh, Forrest takes man on well there. Rogic. Bowen. Yes! 1-0. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah. I've just woke my dog up. Dog was sleeping in her bed nice and calmly. Oops. Sorry, Jess. Good girl. Let's stay positive. Let's demand more from them. Last 10 minutes now, boys. Let's see this game out. Oh, I've got to get rid of it. Is it a corner? It is. Bowen, I'll take it. Oh, Larson has it. Gives it back to Bowen. Loads of space for a cross. Oh, look for Tarot, but he was crowded. Rogic. Larson. Get in, Jordan Larson. 13th goal of the season. Assisted by Tom Rogic. Well, there you go. 2 0. What was a really harsh, stifling game has now turned into a nice 2 0 victory. Phew. Jordan Larson's looking a lot happier now. Okay, boys, let's concentrate. There's three, three minutes or so left. Rasmussen's... Oscar Burr has just got sent off for some reason. I missed that. So we're still a point ahead of Rangers. Going into the final game. Tarot showing there for Bowen. 
We'll cross us to Larson, but he's crowded out. Oh, there's full time. 2 0. Oh, thank God. Scott McKenna played well. He's going to be a good signing for us, he is. Boys, did well. Excellent effort. So we play Hearts. Oof. And final game of the season. I've been thinking about Martin Odegaard from Real Madrid. If I can get Martin Odegaard on, say, the right wing, because James Forrest wants to leave. And we made a promise that if he gets 14 million coming in for him, then he can go. Um, so I'm thinking of Martin Odegaard as a replacement. Having Bowen on the left, Odegaard on the right. Um, I'm just not sure. Anyway, let us know what you think about that in the comments. Um, let's see. Celtic, Cam Aberdeen. McInnes took Celtic for granted. That's a bit lethal. Classy Rogic on form. Good. Just add to your value, mate. That's all good. How much is he worth? 19 grand a week. 11 million he's worth. So he's on the decline here. Oh, Thiago Armado. We're actually scouting. Oh. Oh, I think Spencer's bid for him. Spencer Cutter has just bid six and a half million for him. The lad's also wanted by Valencia. So Thiago Armada, the wonder kid, the number 10. Um, okay. Alright, all good. Celtics. Uh, I'm going to handle negotiations, mate. Because Valencia are in for him. I think we're just going to pay him good money. I'm going to give his agent some good money as well. Because he looks very good. I don't really want to lose out on him. Um, I'm happy to pay him some big money. There you go, 80 million release clause. Whew. Finalise that deal. Upon appeal, he should be granted a work permit. Okay. Ross, Ethan Ross. Who's this guy? Spence, what are you doing, mate? Ethan Ross, 18 year old Scottish. 190 grand. <sighs> I mean, 18, he looks pretty good. Uh, hand over to you, Spence. He's your player. Oh, Spence, what have you done? You've ruined the Dennis Favreau negotiation, pal. Center half, 24 Slovak. Oh dear. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll keep playing him to the end of the season. But, um, yeah. Spence.
right okay well let's have a look at the fixtures we have hearts in the league and rangers in the scottish cup final and boy do we owe them we owe them a massive whooping so those are the last two games of the season and then we've got some Ah, oh, that's why Spence is doing the transfers. Two games left of the season. Ah, you wait to end the season, Spence. Good lad. Um, so yeah, come back for the next one. When we'll play Hearts and Rangers. Let's see if we win the league. And let's see if we win the Scottish Cup final. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Hit like. All helps. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care of yourself. Cheers for watching. Bye.